There he is. Oh my, what do I have? He drilled it. Oh, it looks like a nice small mouth. Got him right off that dock. What is going on, y'all? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day, night, whenever y'all seeing this. But uh, we're back on Fishing Planet, as you can see from the title of your screen. Before I get into today's video, if you guys haven't already, just click off this video and go watch the newest smallmouth fishing video. And for those of you that have seen it, man, I hope y'all enjoyed it. You know, we had a lot of fun out there on the creek. But today's video is going to be falling into the same category. So let's jump straight into this. So as y'all can see, we'll be heading to St. Crocs Lake, something like that. It's Lake Michigan and got to be a level 30 to be here, which we're level 30, almost level 31. But if y'all look up there underneath my uh, gamer tag, I got $18,314. Now, as I told you guys, it was going to be a grind, which you guys got it to the likes that I asked for. So we're definitely coming to doing the video. So what I'm going to do is go over the gear that we're going to be bringing and we'll go over the fish species. But I'm going to be mainly fo focusing straight on smallmouth. Never been to this lake first time ever, so it should be a good time. Let's go see what we can find. So in our backpack, we got some, uh, what is that? Six pound test. I'm using an ultralight rod. It's a six foot three. And well, that's a bait caster there, but, uh, here we have ultralight setups, open faces. We'll be using the bait caster with the jig, you know, get that crawl down there and bounce it. But, uh, we got a worm and we're going to be throwing a spinner bait. We're going to be throwing a spinner bait and seeing what we can get. I got 17 pound braid. Just in case we keep getting broke off, I'll upgrade the line. We just got um, a regular hook here, a one aught hook for just in case if everything's failing, we might throw out there and try to catch a blue catfish. We got some sankers. We won't be needing them. I should probably just go ahead and get rid of those and pick up some more lures. That's what we'll do. We'll bring some more gear. I don't need them sinkers because, like I said, we're not going to be focusing on catfish. So I have a lot of different colors. One thing I don't have is uh, blue or white. Well, besides the spinner bait, but. I'm thinking about bringing, you, I don't have a black or blue jig or anything to run these as a trailer, but I can Texas rig these. So what I'm going to do, we're going to grab a, probably a one and a half inch crawl with the tube. And if we can get the shad, we can't. So we'll go ahead and pick those up. We'll bring them. So I have grubs, you know, there is walleye here. Like I said, we're going for smallmouth, y'all. And I know smallmouth eat the grubs on here too. And the tubes, of course, we got tubes. We got crawls, crawfish, which I've got them on the back of a jig. We got jig heads, different sizes. Jerk baits. I went ahead and got a nice uh, deep mini. I don't know how deep this lake is, but it could be deep. And we got different color jigs here. I got an all white one and all that. We got some spinners, narrow spoons. You just never know. But yeah, that's pretty much all the gear that we're going to be taking. So now let's jump over and look at the types of fish that's in the lake. So it looks like we have American Shad. You know, I guess it's 12 pounds is how big they get. Um, Atlantic Salmon. Blue Catfish. I would like to get one of them. We may do it as a bonus fish. Just try to catch one. Brook trout, brown bullhead, brown trout, musky, uh, clear musky, um, freshwater drum, uh, golden shiner, green sunfish, lake sturgeon. I thought that was pretty sweet. I like to see one of them. Muskies, northern pike, pumpkin seed, rock bass. That's pretty sweet. We just caught some of them in the episode of the creek fishing. Like I said, if you guys ain't seen it, don't watch this yet. Go watch it and then come back. And then this is our target fish right here. 
So it looks like they get one to four pounds. It says 12, actually. One of them says 12. And 27 inches. So that's a monster. So we can catch up to a 12 pound smallmouth today. That's going to be sweet. Tiger muskie. We got uh, tiger trout walleye. I know a few of you that watch my videos are big walleye fishermen. Especially one of you out there. We fish together and stuff in real life. But, you know maybe if we do go if i do make a walleye vi fishing video we may not come to this lake i got a whole nother lake that i go to for them and catch a bunch but it says 44 pounds wow that would be a monster my biggest right now is five pounds i don't imagine a 44. we got some white bass in this lake and a yellow perch so that's pretty much all the fish species now we just got to purchase a fishing license the travel is 9800 so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna buy some fishing license. Eight thousand dollars to go fishing for one day. Definitely gonna make the time worth it. We got fishing license and we just gotta travel. And here we go. First time being on this lake, we're gonna do some traveling for sure. Now I'm not sure if we can fish this side or you're just basically fishing that whole back side. But if you could fish this main side where this right here where I'm got to hover over, that would be insane. Man, this place is big. I don't know where to start. I have a boat, so we got to start over here because I got to get my boat first. But looks like we have a five to nine and then a complete downtime. We probably won't catch nothing then. But the bite should pick back up about five to nine. So you, I'm definitely in for a lot of editing, but this should be really fun. I'm broke too. I only got five hundred fourteen dollars now. So let's just jump in, y'all, and hopefully we can make something happen. So it looks like we got two thousand dollars. Had to make sure my mic was unmuted. Thank God it is. Uh, we got two thousand dollars for even just fast traveling here. So. We made a little bit of our money back. Nothing really at all, but, you know, we take it. We don't want none of that. We don't want none of that. Man, this place looks beautiful. We got some docks. Man. I know this video ain't going to be super good, but uh, we should take this boat, honestly. You know, I don't know how much. 6000 Yeah, we ain't got that money. I got my yak over here, though. So, uh... I do just caught a 19-pound northern pike. Man, y'all, I don't know where to start. I'm literally going to fish this whole game day. My SD card can might even stop working because i'm gonna have so much film but uh this video i'll just warn y'all now it's going to be long but i doubt y'all would really care if you really like watching these so we're going to start off with these docks and we're just going to go from structure to structure if we're not having luck in structure we're going to go try to find some deep water so let's get after it <laughs> All right, y'all, to start us off, I'm just gonna throw this worm around these uh, boats and stuff here. Oh yeah, this lake's deep. We may, we probably should have bought a little, you know, heavier sinker, but it is what it is. Man, we're floating right up under this dock. I should have uh, dropped our anchor. We're gonna have to probably. All right, that took a lot longer than what it should have. I just had to drop my anchor now. If we can uh, even get up under this dock. There we go. I'm not going to fish a lot around this dock. Honestly, I may take a couple, just a few casts under here. This worm should be good. I got a, it's a, a green one. It's just called green. It's not like pumpkin seed. I guess you could say it is, but... 
I do got a few other callers that we're going to be trying, but uh oh, I actually just had a bite. You guys may not have seen it, but I definitely did. Mm, it come up after it. All right, let's switch. I think this is our bait caster with the uh, nope. All right, yeah, we got the crawfish jig now. Let's just throw this jig up under there. I'm just going to slowly lift and drop it back, just like I do in real life. Just pick it up and just let it slide back to me. Maybe he'll crank it. Uh oh, what a hook. Snag something down there. Alright. I just really want to explore this lake, man. Honestly, I, I would, wouldn't mind coming back, but wow, it is such a grind. Let's get out here in the middle of this. This looks like a swimming pool. I see a bunch of people over on that bank. I talk a lot. Honestly, I do, but this is crazy. Is, oh, is this a dock out in the middle? Drop an anchor right here. It's like a swimming spot, maybe. Get on there, jump in the water. So we're going to start this first part off. I'm going to be working a jig, and if we're not getting anything on a slow-moving bait, I'll take and throw that deep diving crankbait 13 foot and we'll just rip it through the water and there he is. Oh my, what do I have? He drilled it. Oh, it looks like a nice small mouth. Got him right off that dock. But uh, as I was saying, we'll take a uh, crankbait and we'll rip it through here. Man, if this is a small mouth, we got a nice one. We got to get one on this ultra light. I got to throw the worm next. He's fighting like this, man, I, I can only imagine. I think I found my new favorite place to fish. No, he's just running us. I guess I could. Tighten it, tighten it. No! Wow, man. So I was tightening my, uh, tension up on him but I forgot I I was tightening the bearings whatever you know usually it holds him tight and instead I should have been up and everything else and instead he come off think that was a big small mouth that's what it looked like to me man he nailed that though man that was a nice fish this is the last cast of this and we're gonna go throw the ultra light I would man hooking uh oh i just had another hit hooking them on that ultra light is going to be crazy there he is he hit that on the drop i'm not sure what kind of fish it is it looked like perch yeah, a little yellow perch. I mean, we'll keep him. I mean, just get a little money back in our pocket. But we're going to go ahead and pull the uh, anchor up here. And we're just going to go around. I'm going to try to find some nice spots. So right now what we're going to be doing is fishing out right there where that sun is. We're going to be fishing out in the middle of that thing. It looks like there's some structure, but what I'm really curious is if I would rip a crankbait, I think I could cover a lot of water. Like when I'm doing this, I should probably be ripping a crankbait through here. There's people everywhere. My guy's almost out of arm strength. There's probably smallmouth, honestly, all over here, but man, I really would have 
like to have caught that first fish. I'm just curious to see if, if this like leads us out into the main lake, maybe. Maybe you can explore, or maybe just you can only explore on the inside, which is still a lot of like the biggest body of water I've been on in the game so far. If you guys do travel to this lake, I'd recommend getting that motorboat. You could probably cover a lot more water than this. I mean, I've been paddling for probably three or four minutes straight. I think we'll be able to get out into the main lake. We're going to fish down this wall right here. Probably hit both sides as we go down the middle. There could be some bass stacked on this, you know, wall. Real life in a river. I usually catch them straight off of a wall. So, this could be a nice spot. We're just going to take a few casts up and down through here. And if we don't get nothing, we're going to keep moving towards the end of this point. See what it looks like. So far, I'm not seeing a lot of structure. It's mainly just open water. So I'm trying to fish the structures on the banks and stuff. There's a few boats out in the middle, but... I mean, y'all can see, really. There's just not, like, trees and stuff. All right, well, I've took a few casts, two or three casts right here. So uh, we're going to pull the anchor. We're just going to move up probably 30 feet, 40 feet, and try her again. I'm just going to let the boat coast up through here. This is where I need to crankbait. I'm about to throw the crankbait off. I mean... But I'd like to get some fish on stuff. And we got plenty of time, so. We're going to go through a lot of lures. It almost looks like a dam is up here at the end. Got him. This is on the altar light. He might put up a fight. I don't know. Oh, he's pulling the boat. This is why you got to drop the anchor. <laughs> we can't now that we hooked him, but. Ooh, looks like a nice fish. Thought I seen it up towards the top there. Oh, it looks like a bass. Found him just, oh, walleye. Pretty decent walleye, two pound. Would take $217 for him. His first fish there. I remember, right, yeah. Is he just going crazy? I actually think there's a dam up here. This is going to be nuts. If there is, man. I know the game just lagged there. But if there is, it's going to be sweet. It's definitely something up. Let's just paddle up there real quick. So, it don't look like there's a dam. This is actually a picture that it took. It looks like you can go all the way up to them. Uh, I think buoys are out there. Looks like it's all the farther you can go. And then the rest is just all back through there. But this is still a big lake. We haven't yet to find a small mile. There's actually a bunch of fish jumping right here. Real life stripers do that. So, oh no, stop. I forgot to drop the anchor. Look at, th if we catch a st striper right here, this is, just like real life they do that right there they just all school up and bust the top of the water we are in the deep I'm not gonna wait on that bait to sink all the way to the bottom I see him jumping everywhere oh I missed it I missed it I missed it what are them man first time I ever seen it but I know in real life this is what stripers do all right let's uh let's throw a spinnerbait 
out there. It looks like they're actually moving up some. This is crazy. All right, so we got the spinner bait. Let's just whip it out there. I forgot y'all the rod. I meant to switch it. The spinner or buy a heavier one. This one's not real heavy, but. All right, y'all know what? Due to the fact that I messed the spinner bait up, let's go ahead and go down and we're gonna rip this deep diver. Oh, it's too heavy. I think I can rip it on. Uh, I think we can rip it on this. Yep. And then we'll just put the crawl dad on here. I had it on a drop shot. Alright, so we just switched the worm out too. I'm just going to throw a different collar one. But let's grab this crankbait. Wrong pole. I got too many fishing poles. I think it's a No, this is a cat fishing rod. This should get us pretty deep in the water. Alright. Just retrieve it for some reason. It's not. Oh, one hit it. One hit it. Right at the boat. Is that a small mouth? I think it's a small mouth. It is. It is. It's a small mouth. Three pounds. That's my personal biggest. If them are small mouth out there, that is crazy. Let's get a nice look at him. Let's turn that light off. Look at that. I'm actually going to get a quick screenshot. Might be the biggest one that we get. So I'll get back with y'all. Two hundred forty-four dollars, y'all. Again, that's a beautiful small mouth, so let's get him in there. That was on the crankbait. Some reason, I don't think they like that worm, but it could be where we're fishing such deep water. I'm going to throw this crankbait again. Then we're going to throw that jig, and we're just going to compare them and see if maybe that's what it is. I actually had two strikes that cast of the second time he hit it right at the boat. Oh, another one. Oh, this one's big. Another smallmouth. These are smallmouth out here. These are smallmouth out here. This one is big. If I, I'm not going to land them on an ultra light rod. There's no way. Come on, buddy. Get in here. This one's every bit of four pound. They said they get 12 pound or something. That is crazy. He, there's no ever landing them on. I got 300 some odd feet on the uh, open faces. So definitely in for a fight on that ultra light rod. This is one of my walleye rods. I usually use this for walleyes. I like this rod uh, or the rod. I like this lake a lot. This is a really good fun lake, man. Look at this. Oh man, he's another big one. He's another big one. No, 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 no. He's just pulling us. I think the first one we hooked earlier was bigger than this on the jig, but man, this is a this is a fun lake right here. They're just busting the water. I'm sure you guys can hear it. This is crazy. You gotta hurry, man. You gotta you gotta get tension on him.
I actually got to turn. Why does it sound like he's going to break me? This fish is huge. Got him. Four pounder. <laughs> this is crazy. Four pounds. 19 inches. Back to the screenshot. This actually takes quite a bit of time too. So what we do is I move this out of the way. Then we got to get the front view here. Reposition the camera. You know, my guy's just like, what's up? And yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, we can, I can, yeah, this is your front view. All right. Grab a nice quick screenshot of him. Man, look at the collars of that fish. It's my favorite fish in real life to fish for too. I love them. Man. All right, I'm ready to catch one of the ultralight rod. I can't wait no more. So, let's pick this bad boy up. Man, look at him jumping. Let's let's try the worm. Let's try the worm again. I I don't think the worm's key. Could just be me, but I don't think it's key. We're gonna throw the brown one now and see if it has an effect on him. I highly recommend if y'all out there get to level 30. I highly recommend coming to smallmouth fishing this this lake. We could have even more fun uh, catfishing. I tell you what, uh, I'll leave it down below to y'all. Usually I'll say, you want to see me catch this and this and this. Leave this many likes. Comment down below. I mean, if I see anyone that comments anything that, that they want to see, let me know. I just don't, I think the worm's not working because the water's so deep. I, I just don't know. Let's throw the jig out there. So far, the crankbait's been perfect. That's something to keep in mind. I mean, like I said, I don't really want to keep fishing the same spot. I want to keep exploring the lake. So we'll probably catch two more fish here. We'll do a loop around the lake fish and see if we have any luck. And if not, we're going to come back and we'll just keep fishing in this area for pretty much running a crankbait just running and going running and going or something but still there's a lot more lake to explore so I don't want to keep setting in the same spot this is a heavy jig y'all we're on bottom one hit it Got him. Ooh, looks like another smallmouth. Could it be? Yep, another one. That one there was deep in there, but he wasn't as big. Yeah, he's only a pound. You know, just a little guy there. Look at that jig, though. That's sweet. That looks sweet right there. That's sweet. <laughs> Look at him keep him. Just throw out there and catch one more. Again, I want to catch one on that ultra light, man. We're gonna have to throw it out there. I'm afraid we gotta at least catch one. Cause who knows, we might travel this whole lake and not catch any more, so. Alright. Seems like the ultra light rods, they just don't want them. For some reason, they don't they don't want nothing to do with them. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to set back. We're going to let this hit bottom. I'm going to see what it does if we can let it hit bottom. All right, y'all. We're on bottom. We're just going to pretty much stop and go right off of it as soon as it was on bottom. Another big smallmouth. This is on the ultra light. This right here is going to be the last one in this spot. We're just going to head back. Like I said, I'm probably going to run a crankbait down that wall on the way out. And then we're just going to go back. We'll probably fish the right side and then back to the left side. And see, it's only a two-pounder. 
And if all else fails, what we'll do is come back, like I said, in this little area and try it. And just see what's the biggest one we can get. This looks like a decent little spot. We just now got back out of that uh, channel that we went up. Right now we're going to be fishing the right side. I should probably throw a worm right here. I'm just going to take a few casts with the worm, and if we hook one, you guys will see it. If not, we do hook a fish. I'm actually going to throw this little rooster. I call him a rooster tail in real life. This is what I was actually using in the crick fishing video the other day. And that's what I caught all my smallmouth on. Look, it, that, it's working. It works. I sort of said, it's just a dab. This ain't what we're looking for. I think this is my first ever pumpkin seed now. Apparently, I've uh, caught some, but oh, kind of right in the top of the lip. Pretty, pretty, pretty looking fish there. Take one more cast. All right, here they are. They don't sound as big as them last ones. Of course, as soon as I get here, they all go back down. And they all move farther. Got him. Ooh, it's a big one. Real good fish. Got him on a nano spinner. Spinner. I don't know what it could be. Thank it is a smallmouth. I caught it right there in them boils. Again, if it is, then I'm going to start thinking that every time you see them splashes, them's all smallmouth. I could be wrong. It could be any type of fish, but if it is, and we pretty much got the smallmouth dialed in. I am going to go and fish the main lake just back behind me out in the middle and throw a few different lures and see if we catch any smallmouth. But if we don't, then I think just when smallmouth's near, you see them. This looks like a white bass. This don't look like a smallmouth. Putting up a fight. This is on this ultra light, man. Man, these fish fight on it. Oh, gonna come out there, jump. He don't look that big. There he goes through the water. I wish my guy could look down farther. Yeah, this, this ain't no smallmouth. This is more of a white bass. It is, it's a white bass. What in the world? Oh, I didn't even have my reel all the way up. We little white bass. Let's take a look at him. Catch these in the river where I'm at a lot. I actually seen one get caught the other day. Small guy though. See? Earlier I mentioned white bass would do that. They would make them boils in the water. And uh, we just caught one out of them boils. So we're going to take this cast here. And I don't see much that I really want to fish on down there on that bank line. So I think after this, we're going to move to the main lake. I'm probably going to throw a tube on a heavy uh, jig head, throw it out there. And we're going to jig a tube through the middle, see if we can catch a smallmouth. Because again, that's mainly what we're after. Watch where the f you're casting, you dumb mother. F Got him. This fish nailed it. 
<laughs> Held it. That's out there where I heard that noise too. Oh, we didn't drop the anchor. No way. Well, here we go. One, 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 one. Nice smallmouth giant. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Big smallmouth. Yeah, boy. I guess it's not that big. Ah. Four pounder. Whew. He's a flip floppity. Look at that. Beautiful small mouth. Wow, man. I don't know why he's flipping all crazy, but. Man, that has been fun, y'all. It's been so fun. I like this. It's definitely been a grind to what I'm used to because usually you're in one spot pretty much the fish have to be there but you know when you get on a boat you open up and uh, you have to travel around to find them pretty much as a bank fish and the fish are always going to spawn in that area I'm just going to take a few more casts out here and see if I catch some and if not I'll see you all at the end now, one thing I want to get out there is the reason why I was asking you guys really is is to let me know what you guys want to see is because this is going to be it. The next one that you guys are going to be seeing is going to be it for a well, It's going to be for a pretty good while until I can get the money to go get a capture card because I got to get like five more videos out. I'm pretty sure it's five or six more videos that I got planned for uh, the Hunter and, and Sims world. And as you guys know, July 22nd, mix are shutting down. If you haven't, you know now, but I'm um, pretty sure it's July 22nd. But when it shuts down, it's going to shut our fishing gaming down for a while. But when we come back to them, hopefully, I'm praying, it's going to be 1080p or 4K video. Well, with that all being said, I'll see you all on the next episode. Watch where the fuck you're casting, you dumb motherfucker. What?